of all the artifacts! Our journey seems to be coming to an end. It'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned the break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. Uh -huh. I'm just an old blade in the dark trying to make good. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. Uh, don't know about that. Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the Troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Always knew we could pull this off. Finally! These new universes won't know what hit them. Forget about the Starborn and the Hunter. It's Barrett and company from here on out. I suppose we can do that. Classic. Look, if this is it, are we doing this or not talk? Then stop right there. We're doing this. The multiverse waits for no one. Yeah, that's why I said it first. See you on the other side. Coming up on the end of a long ride here. We got all the artifacts. Are you ready for what comes next? Might not see each other on the other side. I know. Just bracing for it. Hey, listen, uh... You're probably wondering about Korra. I played it over in my head a thousand times and... I've made up my mind. She's coming with. I know what everyone's gonna say, but even if I told her no, she'd find some way on board that ship. And if we stayed behind, we'd both regret it. I'm sure plenty of the others won't like it, and I'll be worried like no tomorrow if we don't end up in the same place. But I gotta keep telling myself that Korra's ready for this. And hey, same goes for you. If we don't see each other on the other side, it's been... Um, <laughs> all worth it. I can't wait to get to the Unity! I've been reading all about Parallel Universe Theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. You think it's okay if I call them Korra too? I'll have to check all my charts and double-check all the locking mechanisms and see what kind of differences there are in the next universe. You know, in case we get into the kind of trouble we always do. Look, Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? That's what Dad said. I feel... Kind of bad, you know? That I want to go anyway? I'm sure gonna miss the Lodge. But I can't wait to see what happens next. So... The unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know... Can lead to a better place. Uh, 
I do not know if I would say the same. More that I accept it. I'm ready. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? I do too. But the emissary makes me doubtful. They are both the person we lost and someone else entirely. If we do not see each other again, then this is goodbye. I am proud that I was present for this journey. There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. Oh no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Being part of Constellation was... just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. <laughs> Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was, well, poor. Thank you for that. But I'd be lying to myself if I didn't admit it was a part of me. And I have no desire to find out who I am without it. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, bring light into the darkness of the unknown. This is all exciting, but there's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. I've thought about it, and... As much as I would love to see the Unity the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it, I'm not coming with you. Thank you. I know this is probably coming as a surprise. I think I need to look for my answers here, in this universe. And I can't leave my parents. I know they would understand, but they're not getting any younger. You too. I know I'm flaking out at the end, but I'm glad I was a part of all this. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm gonna make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work. Especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind. Or whatever the Unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and we're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> And I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer 
congratulatory statements. Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely. I am told that is the best way to deliver potentially upsetting news. If we do not see each other again, goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. Sounds good. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. 
All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? That's good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question, so that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. By defeating both the Hunter and the Emissary, the path to the unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own, uninterrupted by powerful Starborn. Constellation membership who stays behind will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for home out there in the stars.
Once you are reborn, there is no going back. The Gate of Light will take you to another universe. Or simply walk away until the stars fade to return to your ship. Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make? Thank mm -hmm. you.